Here's my desktop computer. It's a uh, HP Desk Pro from the third generation. It has a sixth generation i7 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a uh, GeForce GT 740 video card. I picked this up earlier this year for a very good price and it's a big upgrade from my old uh, Dell Core 2 Duo that I used uh, before for all of my editing. I think it's about three or four years old now but still it's uh, pretty quick. But the new uh, video editing software that I'm using uh, needs a lot more power so I'm running into uh, disk drive limitations. So tonight I'm going to do a little upgrade but first I will blow this out with uh, compressed air because it can get a little bit dirty when it's standing on a uh, carpeted floor to dampen the noise and these uh, big fans that uh, modern day computers use suck up a whole lot of uh, dust probably a lot more then my vacuum cleaner. Because I hate the vacuum cleaner. It's not really one of my hobbies. Sorry about that uh, noisy compressor. Alright, that's clean enough. But I will have to do this again next year. Probably earlier. Here's the uh, Chinese stuff that I bought to hopefully uh, improve the speed of my computer a little bit. Um, I got a solid state storage, a uh, M.2 NVMe, 120 gigabyte uh, solid state drive, and a PCI card that should be capable of holding this card. This uh, PCI card can hold multiple solid state drives and uh, both this one and that one use the uh, SATA protocol and this one is for uh, NVMe solid state drives and should be the fastest one. All of these uh, connectors are differently and to be honest I'm not sure if you can uh, use all of them at the same time. As usual this thing uh, didn't come with an uh, instruction manual. Oh, you can also connect uh, external SATA drives and that's something that I might be doing in the future. But the drive that I was going to use uh, I already installed in my old laptop. But I might uh, reinstall it in my desktop. Not sure. I might also buy a new one because you cannot have too much storage in your computer. Oh, a quick question. Since the uh, computer doesn't have uh, enough uh, power connectors, I'm planning to uh, split the connector that is currently used for the uh, solid state drive and uh, also use it to power the extra SATA drive. I don't think it will be a problem, but maybe some of you guys know about this stuff. But I'm sure it uh, shouldn't use a whole lot of extra power for an uh, extra solid state drive. So it will probably be fine. Another King drive, just like the one that uh, I installed in my laptop. I think it's Chinese marketing. They are probably trying to piggyback on the good name of uh, Kingston memory. Um, it's an NVMe 120 gigabyte solid state drive. Well, let's uh, install this thing onto the uh, PCI card. King Dian NVMe Express SSD. Well I guess that job is done. Now let's install this bracket 
onto the uh, PCI card. Well, check this out. The PCI card came with its own uh, little screwdriver. Isn't that nice? And apparently I can mount it in two positions. And the position that I will be using is a bit of a gamble. I guess I will find out soon enough if I gambled correctly. Sometimes it would be nice if you got a uh, user manual. Okay, that's all assembled. Now I uh, can install it into the uh, desktop computer. First this little plate in the back here needs to come out. And of course that uses Torx. Let's see if I picked the correct size. Yep, I did. First gamble paid off. Let's see. I think I need to use this slot. But if that isn't the correct one, I will have to break out this uh, covering plate. On closer look, I definitely need to uh, break out this uh, covering plate. I hate that. Let's get a screwdriver. Let's see if I can do this without uh, bending things. One side is loose. Now I'm going to move it back and forth and hopefully it uh, will come loose without uh, me bleeding my fingers. Okay, this one can go back. And now I should be able to mount the uh, PCI card. I think I got it. The card came with a nice screw but I will not be using that because I need to reinstall this covering plate. The uh, Torx screw seemed to be missing and this one doesn't fit. Well, I actually managed to find it. So, all installed. Now let's close up the patient. And uh, then I'm going back inside and hopefully uh, enjoy my success. But more on that later. For the moment, I guess I would be happy enough if it uh, doesn't start smoking. <laughs>